In this snippet, I'm going to show you how to install Tailwind CSS with a fresh view CLI project. It's not really that tricky to do, so let's get started with creating a new project. Of course, if you don't have Vue CLI already installed, you'll want to go over to the installation section, but I'll assume you have it all set up. So let's head over and create a new project. I'm just going to call this Tailwind in Vue and let's just follow the instructions through. It doesn't really matter how you set this up. The one thing that I would recommend is having all of your configuration files in separate files, so it makes a lot more sense. Um, but if you don't, the installation process should be pretty much similar. Okay, so that's all finished. Let's go over to the Tailwind directory and run npm run serve. What I'm also gonna do is head over to a separate tab and I'm gonna go back into that directory just so we can install any additional dependencies that we need along the way. Okay, so of course the first dependency that we need to pull in is Tailwind itself. So let's do an npm install on Tailwind CSS and just wait for this to finish. And now that that's done, let's head straight over to our text editor and we're gonna be using post CSS to pull this in. So let's go and create a new configuration file in the root directory. This is gonna be our post CSS configuration file. Anything that we add to this will be added to post CSS. So this is just how we get the post CSS config set up in a fresh view CLI project. So to pull Tailwind it in, we're gonna go ahead and export a new object from this file that we can add our plugins to. And the plugins property here is just an array of plugins that you want to pull in. First thing that we're gonna do is pull in our auto prefixer. That will go ahead and give us the ability to prefix any CSS for modern browsers. And then, of course, we're gonna go ahead and pull in Tailwind CSS. Let's just save that out and head over to our browser just to make sure that we didn't break anything. And sure enough, our Vue.js app, uh, Vue app is set up and ready to go. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is head over to our source directory here under assets, and I'm gonna create out a styles folder. Inside of here, we're gonna have app.css, and this is where we can start to pull in all of our Tailwind uh, stuff. So what we want to pull in is the Tailwind base, and we can use the Tailwind directive to do this, so let's do that. Let's pull in the Tailwind components as well, and let's also pull in the Tailwind utility classes as well. So all of that's over on the documentation, so if you do work with Tailwind already, or if you've just been looking through the docs, then this is exactly what it tells you to do. Now the last thing that we need to do is actually get this pulled into our application. So over in main.js, we uh, there's a couple of ways to do this. The first way is to import this from here. So we could say from the source directory, we want to pull in assets and styles and app.css. That's one way to do it. Let's head over to the browser, give that a refresh, and it looks like nothing's really changed. The only difference now is we can go ahead and add in a class here. So for example, BG Blue 500, and if we head over, we should see that blue background. It looks like I've probably set something up here incorrectly, and sure enough, I should have done module exports, and there we go. So you'll notice a couple of alignment issues. That's just because of Tailwind's base kicking in and just adjusting things. So I just want to cover one other way that you can pull this in, uh, apart from importing it from here. You can actually take this URL and go ahead and from your main app.view file, put in a style tag here and get rid of this, self-close it and use the source attribute to define that you want to pull that in. If you come over, you can see you get exactly the same thing. So really that's just preference, whether you import it over on main.js or you include it as a style tag in here. This is my preference because I feel it lives better a little bit over in app.view, but it's entirely up to you. So there we go, there is uh, Tailwind pulled in to a fresh view CLI project.